So the CT200U mini bike did 43 miles per hour. All right, it did a top speed of 43 miles per hour, 43 miles per hour and 4.960 to 30. Four point nine six, four point nine six, with a jet kit, a high flow air filter, and a header pipe, and a forty tooth rear sprocket. So, in the quest for more speed, I'm going to go ahead and throw this torque converter kit on there with this riser mount, so it'll clear everything. And I also picked up this five H to three quarter shaft adapter for the one ninety six engine because the one ninety six has a five H shaft, and the driver on the torque converter is a three quarter. So this will convert the shaft from 5 eighths to 3 quarter. So I don't have to uh, get a different um, driver. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and throw these parts on there and we'll see if it gains in performance. Alrighty, go ahead and pull this cover off this thing. Go ahead and pull these engine mount bolts off because I'm gonna have to pull this uh, all these bolts out to put that riser mount in. All right, got the engine loose. Now go ahead and pop this chain off. Pull off this cotter pin. All righty, go ahead and pull off this nut here. Loosen up this clutch. Pull off this entire assembly. All right. All right. Go ahead and pull off this jack shaft. All righty then. So now, I'll go ahead and pop this plate under here without removing anything, which is nice. I can leave everything hooked up. Go ahead and lift her up on here. And hopefully everything clears. It is close, look at that. With that mount on there. It's a nice close fit, but it fits. <laughs> Looks like the gas cap will even come off. All right, it's cool, man. The mount comes with all the um, all the hardware, motor mount bolts, and the bolts that bolt the motor to the mount itself. Bolt the mount itself down. We're ready. Go ahead and mount the engine itself to the mount. And that one. Yeah, it's nice. This thing comes with its own hardware. So you're not sourcing hardware. Alrighty, so we got the engine bolted to the mount and the mount bolted to the frame. You go ahead and bolt up that torque converter. Ahead and install this um, adapter for the uh, shaft because it's a 5 8 shaft that needs a three quarter. I'm gonna go ahead and add an extra washer in there to bring the um, the um, driver out farther so the belts won't line more that way it doesn't um, eat belts. Anyway, so let me see. So let me go ahead and put this belt on here. The uh, taper goes to the outside. And 
way. So all right, there's that. piece on there, the piece on there. Yeah, you can see those belts are in alignment. So that thing should last a long time. So the crankshaft bolt that came with the kit is for a 212 Predator. So I went ahead and picked up a bolt that'll fit the uh, 196 crankshaft. Anyway, so go ahead and install that. We go ahead and find the master link for this chain. All right, so it's right here. Perfect. Hop off this master link. All right, and that. All right, let me see how much chain I'm gonna need. So the eight length piece that I pulled off the other day for the uh, 40 tooth sprocket, it's a perfect link for the, um, for the uh, torque converter. So let me go ahead and tighten that back on there, or push that pin back in. Go ahead and pop this link back on here. All right, go ahead and tighten this engine down right here, and we should be good to go. The chain should be about tight. All right, looks like we got her good to go now. All right, everything fits. Everything clears, chain clears. The chain even clears this bar with a 40 tooth rear sprocket, which is a smaller rear sprocket. All right, I got the torque converter on, everything tightened down. It'll be interesting to see what the top end is with this 40 tooth sprocket. I know it'll still have some zero to 30 because of the torque converter. So we shall see, let's go test it out. Point seven nine, four point seven nine. It's definitely quicker from zero to thirty than the jack shaft. I just can't get on it all the way from the very beginning because it'll do a wheelie. But it did it in four point seven nine, four point seven nine. Let's do top speed. All right, top speed torque converter. CT200U. Let's see what she did. All right, she did the same as the jack shaft, 43 miles per hour, 43 miles per hour. It just made it quicker. Alrighty, so the Coleman CT200U with the 
torque converter did the same miles per hour, 43 miles per hour with the torque converter and the jack shaft, but it got a lot quicker. It went 4.79 versus 4.93. So yeah, it definitely made it quicker, but just not faster. So it's got the same top speed, but it's quicker from zero to 30. All right, so the torque converter made it quicker, just not faster. It still has a top speed of 43, but the zero to 30 went down to 4.79.